What's up, guys? Corey Erdman here in the Fight Network studios, getting you up to date on everything in the world of boxing and in potentially groundbreaking news. Canelo Alvarez has signed what is being touted as a major agreement with HBO Sports to broadcast his fights for the foreseeable future. Now, at first glance, this would signal an ending to the Cold War that's been going on between Top Rank and Golden Boy promotions. Canelo is, of course, a Golden Boy fighter, and for the past several years, Golden Boy fighters have fought on Showtime exclusively, with very few exceptions. Top Rank fighters, meanwhile, have been housed on HBO. But just wait, it's not all sunshine and lollipops just yet. Showtime sports head Steven Espinoza claims that Oscar De La Hoya reneged on a verbal agreement that would have kept Canelo on Showtime for his next seven fights, starting with an agreed-upon bout with Joshua Claudi on December 6th. Espinoza told RingTV.com that he's been given no explanation as to why Canelo jumped ship, but took to Twitter and admitted that the Claudi fight was certainly not the network's preference. It's possible that this brings Golden Boy and Top Rank into a zone where they can negotiate and make fights happen with one another on HBO. But this could also be the beginning of a divide between Golden Boy fighters and Al Heyman fighters, which would create a third major severance in boxing's top tier. Now, in potentially related news, James Kirkland has declined his rumored November 8th bout with Gabe Rosado, which was set to be the co-feature for the Bernard hopkins Sergey Kovalev light heavyweight unification bout in Atlantic City. Kirkland's attorney told Yahoo Sports that whatever number his promoter 50 Cent offered him, he deemed it insufficient and simply walked away from the fight. Now, taken at face value, this would seem to just be the latest in bizarre career decisions Kirkland has made recently. However, skeptics or optimists could view this as a complex hoax to hide the fact that Kirkland is going to be Canelo's next opponent. With Espinoza fanning the flames of public displeasure towards the proposed Claudi fight, a more intriguing, more competitive, and more marketable clash with a Texas fighter in San Antonio, could be another solid PR move from HBO and Golden Boy. But let's not forget what happened last time Canelo Kirkland was on the table. Kirkland requested $2.5 million for the fight, and it was nixed immediately. Unfortunately, Kirkland hasn't given us a reason to give him the benefit of the doubt, and will bear the burden of proof until further notice. Now, don't worry, we do have some news of good fights actually being signed. It does look like Timothy Bradley and Diego Chavez are set to square off in welterweight action on December 13th at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. Bob Arum has said that the deal is done, and yesterday the Nevada State Athletic Commission officially approved it, making it as official as a fight can be without a press release being sent out. Bradley is coming off a loss to Manny Pacquiao in April after a career-best win over Juan Manuel Marquez and a fight-of-the-year candidate against Ruslan Provodnikov. Chavez, meanwhile, is riding a two-fight losing streak, having been stopped by Keith Thurman and getting disqualified in an ugly affair with Brandon Rios. If Bradley can return to his smooth, athletic boxing ways, he should be considered a strong favorite over Chavez in this fight. However, it doesn't take much to drag Desert Storm into a brawl, and if we learned anything about Chavez last time out, it's that he knows how to antagonize his opponent in one way or another. That's it for today's roundup of boxing news. For more coverage of the sweet science, go ahead and log on to FightNetwork.com.